Before you begin doing anything, you want to grab a nice soft towel that you can rest your project on. It's really important to have a towel because it kind of acts as a soft barrier between the project and the table so it doesn't um, break or fall apart. You're going to need to um, grab a ballpoint pen. Make sure you get a tip that's very nice and round and soft. Don't use a felt tip pen or a pen that has a really fine point. So a ball tip pen is best. Line up your drawing on the box and hold it in place and very carefully trace your image onto the box. It's going to create a slight indent on the surface and you're going to have to trace over every little line that you've made. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to break through the paper, but press hard enough that you are creating a def you know nice defined indented line onto the surface of your clay. After you've traced the image on, you want to double check before lifting the paper completely off the box that you've traced over all of your lines. So hold the paper on the box and lift up the top and then lift up the bottom. And you'll notice I forgot to draw a couple lines in there, so I'm going back in and adding in those lines. Like I just said, do not remove the paper fully from the box because it's extremely hard to line it back up perfectly, especially when you have a lot of detail like the sketch I am tracing on. So always double check that everything's traced on in its place before you fully remove that paper off of your box. After indenting your sketch onto the side of your box, go ahead and grab your Scrafito tools. Um, I like to begin with the triangular point, but I would experiment with all the different ends so you guys kind of determine what you like and what works best for your specific pattern design. When you begin carving, you're only supposed to be carving out the white areas. So whatever is black, you do not want to carve that away in your pattern design. This one's specifically hard for me because the edges of my buildings have these really skinny black lines. So I have to be really careful that I'm keeping that black line there as I'm carving out the white. Now I want you to notice that this first um, scratch away is not going too well. The clay is really super soft, and so it's not carving out very easily. Sorry for my head getting in there. Um, but it's get, it's kind of gunky, and it's not making a lot of clean scrapes. What I decided to do was instead of you know getting frustrated and having the side of my box look sloppy, I took this home and I let it sit out for at least let's see, three to three to four hours before I started working on it. That allowed a lot of the moisture in the clay to escape and it allowed me to make crisper, cleaner marks. So today, as you begin working, if you start scratching, you're like, oh my gosh, this is just getting really gunky. I'm trying to scrape away these extra little bits that I'm you know, picking up, but they're not removing off of the box very easily, they're just kind of sticking to it, then that is a sign that you need to just stop working, let your piece dry out for about three to three and a half hours, and then you can work on it again. And as I'm working, pay attention to how slow I'm going. I am not carving fast and I'm trying to be as specific as possible. I don't want to accidentally carve away an area that should be black. If that would happen, and trust me, you'll see that I do make those errors already in the Scurfito box a little bit later on, I am going to show you guys ways to hide it. So don't stress about it. But let's talk about um, proper ways of carving. First, you need to figure out what is the best direction to make my carving marks. For me, I'm doing vertical carving strokes because I have this vertical movement with the buildings in my piece. If you have fl flowers in your pattern, you might want to do more curvy marks that follow the contour of the petal. Same thing if you're doing a geometric shape. You might, if you're doing like a diamond or a triangle in there, you may want to have your lines be placed on angles so you can better show the movement within the pattern that you are depicting. 
The biggest thing with Sgraffito though, is that when you carve away, the surface of the clay is going to have a texture. Keep the texture there. Please do not try to smooth over the texture. If you smooth over the texture, trying to get it to be like this flat surface, it's just going to turn into a sloppy mess. When you do Sgraffito artwork, part of the aesthetic of Sgraffito work is to have a carved rough texture to it. So do not fight what a Sgraffito mark is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have this kind of scratchy look of these carved out lines. So let it be so and don't try to get rid of that aesthetic look by trying to smooth it out. Notice that after I've carved for a little bit, I'm taking that brush and getting rid of all of the extra bits that I'm scraping up and I'm getting rid of them using that brush. Do not take your hand and try to swipe it off. Your hand is too hard and you'll actually push those little bits of clay and glaze back into the surface and then it'll kind of be stuck there and it won't be removed very easily. So after I scrape up a bit, I'll let those pieces sit maybe for a few seconds or a couple minutes, and then I'll go in with that brush to dust them off. And just pay attention at how deliberate and slow I'm being. I'm really trying to have my edges be crisp, crisp and defined so I am able to show this pattern that I've spent so much time um, drawing out and perfecting. Also, when I'm working, I'm taking my Sgraffito tool and I'm carving back in areas I've already carved because you'll notice as you carve away, the black glaze is going to be streaked across the white surface and almost create a gray color. I want to have the highest contrast possible. So even after I've scraped an area, I'm cleaning off the tip of my Sgraffito tool because it kind of picks up and keeps the clay on there. So I'm cleaning it off with my fingers and then I'm going back into areas I've already carved just to get rid of that little streaks of gray that I've left in there. And you can see how I'm doing that right now. And it's starting to look a lot wider in that section. To review, Make sure you're only carving out the white areas in your drawing. If it's black, don't carve it. If you make a mistake, don't worry, we'll fix it when we get back to school. When you carve, think about the direction of your carving marks and how they can enhance your design. So here I have this vertical composition, so that's why I'm carving it in a vertical style. Please do not get rid of this graffito texture. It's supposed to be a little rough. And um, if you try to smooth it out, you're just going to mess up the piece. So let the Sgraffito texture be there. Do not rush this process. As you can see, with very highly detailed patterns like the one I'm doing, it just takes time. And if, if you want to make it look really, really good, give it the time it needs. We have plenty of time for this. So um, stay focused. Give yourself about an hour and a half every day to carve this whenever you're home and it's going to start looking amazing.